Hey, good morning, coaches. Ashley Roberts here. I just wanted to show you guys a little tutorial on how to create an ad for your challenge group. Um, so I am going to do a little screen share. What I like to do each month is um, every time I do a challenge group, I create an ad through my Facebook like page and then I can promote it. Um, which is something that, you know, we can totally get into at another time, but you can absolutely do this through your personal Facebook page by creating an event and making it public. So that way you can talk about it. You can post in there. You can invite people to it that, um, you know, that have expressed interest in the past. Um, you can talk a little bit about what, what's going on, what to expect, and things like that. Um, it kind of just gives you the opportunity to put it out there publicly, so that way if people are interested and maybe they're afraid to ask, they can click like going, you know, and that way they'll get some more information. So I'm just going to show you guys um, a little bit of what I do to do that. Okay, so. I am doing mine through my like page. This is through, um, this is my Facebook page, but I do want to show you guys how to do that through your Facebook page. So just through your personal page, you'll go to um, events, and then you'll go to create event. And that just means, like, that's just how... You, and you will want to create a public event because you want to make sure that everybody can see it that's on your friends list. Now, I don't encourage just sending an invite to everybody on your friends list because people are like, what the heck? You know, like you get invited to, not going to lie, like I don't even know what this is that I was invited to. But sometimes people just send an invite to everybody on their friends list. I mean, if you really feel like doing that, you can, but I would just caution you, like we always talk about talking to somebody first, finding out their goals before just sending a mass invite. Now, if you have people who have expressed interest in the past, then you can go ahead and invite them to this. People that have said, I'm not sure, like maybe next month, you can send them an invite to it and then just shoot them a message and just say, hey, I know you were interested in the past. I just sent you an invite. There's a little bit more information in there. You can check it out. Um, we start on such and such date. And it would be really great to, you know, have you join us. Um, so that's usually what I do. So that's how you do it. You create a public event. Now, I'm not going to do that through my personal page. I'm doing it through my like page. Um, so I'm going to just, it looks exactly the same. Um, but I'm just going to show you guys what that looks like. Okay. So this is my like page. This is my Ashley Roberts fitness page. Um, so I am going to... Go down here to events, and I'm going to create an event. Okay. So this will be a public event because it is your personal page, or your, I'm sorry, it is your, your like page, your Facebook page for business. So I'm going to do spring into summer. 30 day health and fitness boot camp. And this is going to start, well, it's going to start on the 23rd, but I want it to start going like now. I want people, people to be able to see it. Um, so what I'm going to do is put the date up there so that way um, but I want it to be ongoing um, probably I'm gonna I'm gonna just close the event on the 24th um, at you know 12 p.m. so I encourage you when you start your event to start it like now so that way people can see it um, up until then so it is going to be health and wellness description um, I'm just going to type in you know what I'm whoops I am actually I'm just gonna do this 
I already created a um, a little thing, a little text. That's <laughs> bear with me, guys. I'm I haven't had coffee in four days, so um, description. So that's kind of my description. That works, right? Keywords. Summer boot camp fitness support accountability eating clean workouts. Um, I mean, literally, you can put and and I'm not sure if the the event on your own personal page it only allows sometimes it only allows you three um, keywords. So. Clean eating workouts, um, healthy fit spring. Um, so there we go. So add any page. I'm going to put myself down. But um, that is what that's about. Oh my gosh. Oh, it just went away. Ugh, that's so frustrating. That's the thing with having a Mac sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it just, when you accidentally go back, it just disappears. Let's start again. Okay, spring into summer, 30 day health and fitness boot camp. Starts 423. Whoops, I'm out of space. 423. Okay. There we go. Thanks for being patient, guys. Totally appreciate it. 12 p.m. Details. I already got that in there. Description. Uh, got me in there. Display guest list. Okay, so this is already public. Now make sure that when you do your event that it's public, okay? I'm, I'm just tell you that a million times. Make sure that it's public. Um, so I have created an image for this event. Okay. And it looks a little like this. Spring into summer. So I just did my picture on PicMonkey, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. I um, just Googled spring background, and then I just put it on here. You can choose templates when you start at the beginning, and I chose Facebook ad. Um, so I just added my image over here. You can do this, add your own overlay, put that on there, and then I, I did this little thing, which it like squishes it all together. Um, and then I used a picture of me. And then when you upload a picture, you have the option to do an eraser. Um, so that way I erased like the rest of the background around me. You can see it's not perfect. That's okay. And then I just typed in spring into summer, 30 days of health and fitness starts 423, unlimited workouts, meal plans, accountability, and support. Just kept it super simple. Tried to create some bright springy little text. Um, and that is what I'm doing for that. So I do have a separate image that I'm going to use to run an ad because Facebook doesn't like a lot of text in their ads. So I'm going to have to do something different. But um, I just wanted to use this image for this ad. So I wanted big wording so that way people can see what's going on here. Um, so that is it. Select category. I need to do that again. Health and wellness. Um, description and I'm going to do a blog post on my website about this event I'm basically just going to copy and paste um, okay I think we're good so we're going to do publish come on Okay, so here's my event. So I am already going. Ideally, we want people, it's so fussy sometimes. Come on, Facebook. 
Okay. So there is this. So this is what I did. I created an about details. So what I'm going to do is I created this um, basically this text preset. Um, and I'm just going to post it in here. Okay. So I just put, we've all been there. We've, we said January 1 would be the start date. Anticipated a perfect beginning of the year with getting into a fitness routine, eating a little better, and would be rocking those results come summer. And then St. Patty's Day happened, and we drank a few beers. Then Easter happened. Why do those Reese's eggs have to taste so good? I mean, you guys can read this. Um, but giving somebody a, like, something that they can relate to is usually what I try to talk about in my post. So that way, um, you know, they are like, oh, yeah, that's totally, that definitely happened. I mean, seriously, we've all been there. Like I, that's me currently, like trying to get my booty in gear before Punta Cana because I had way too much fun these last couple months, just eating and drinking and not doing things, um, as I should have just got a little off track. So anyway, so that's what I do. I talk a little bit about what they can expect, what they, you know, what's going on here. And then I'm going to complete the following application. I don't want to put it in the comments to secure your spot for this group. So then I go to my Wufu. If you haven't done a Wufu application yet, I strongly suggest it. And then I copy and paste. Wufu applications are really great. They're completely free. You just go to wufu.com. Um, you can use what I use for my... Um, for my, um, sorry, I was just trying to see what's coming up here. Okay, you can use what I use for my Wufus and just create your own little application. And then um, it allows them to complete, you know, to go in and complete this little form. It looks, mine looks like this. Um, you can click on it, like I said, use it. It's just name, email, you know, blah, 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 simple, simple, simple. And that's it. So I'm going to post this in this event. Post. Okay. So let's go back to my like page and we're just going to see what that looks like. Where is my event? So not going to come up. Okay. Events. Okay. So here it is. Here's the event. Details. Discussion. Okay. So when I do my blog post, I'm probably going to come back in and edit this and get rid of this Wufu app and then put it in the comp comments. But what I'm also going to do in this event page is I'm going to post the crap about post a bunch of, what am I trying to say? Post the heck out of some like uh, transformations and results and excitement. And maybe I'll throw a recipe in and I'll talk about meal planning and I'll go live in here like once or twice. And then I'm going to invite all my people that were kind of interested, maybe not, not sure. Um, and then just, um, you know, really just ramp up this event. So sometimes it's hit or miss. Sometimes you get a ton of traction. Sometimes you don't. It really just depends. But I try to focus my efforts on really just like trying to connect with people and, um, and giving people a, um, a reason why they would want to join and giving them the support and accountability that they need. So that is what this event looks like. When I go to do a Facebook ad, and like I said, that's a separate video, I only run ads. You can only run ads through your business page, but I just, I, like I said, I use a different image. Um, I talk about it, and then I will do a link to this event page right here. So um, anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I am going to post this video for you guys. Um, any questions, post them in the comments below. And um, I hope that helps you learn how to kind of create, create that pr pr 
create, oh my gosh, I need coffee, create that public event. Um, so that way you can gain some traction, gain some interest. If you want to use some of my text or whatever that I use in my events, go right ahead. Um, I don't mind you doing that. I do encourage you to make it your own though. Make it personal. Um, don't just, please don't just copy and paste exactly what I put word for word. You can use, um, you know, some of it, like I said, but make it your own, make it personal. Um, and there you go. Happy Friday, guys. <laughs>